Welcome to our step-by-step -step tutorial on creating a stunning typography logo in Adobe Illustrator. HL Graphics I am Homera Lake. Did you know that 90% of the information transmitted to our brains is visual? A great logo can make or break a brand. Many aspiring designers struggle with making their logos stand out and effectively communicate their brand's identity through typography. Watch as we transform a basic concept into a unique logo design, showcasing the power of typography and creative thinking. Let's start working. Take any sentence and break it into pieces. <laughs> Just joking. In this video, we will guide you through the essential tools and techniques needed to design a professional-looking logo that effectively represents your brand or business. Whether you're a complete novice or looking to refine your design skills, our easy-to-follow instructions will help you understand the fundamentals of typography design. First we'll take an oval shape and for that we'll go to the shape tool. Move the shape to the center of the board. Then use the eraser tool to divide it into four parts. Cut as many words as you have into any shape. Here I have four words, so I've divided it into four parts. Now I'm going to place the four words one by one next to these shapes, being very careful that the shape should be on top and the word should be on the bottom whenever this will work. Now, our real work will begin. Now, select a word and a shape piece using the selection tool. Click on the object, then scroll down until you see the envelope distort option. Click on it, and three choices will appear on the right side. Among these, select Make with Top Object. This will allow you to creatively shape your text to match the contours of the chosen object, adding a unique and dynamic effect to your design. Now expand them all. Hold down the Alter button on the keyboard and use the mouse to copy the design and place it on the side and change its color to red. Now we will make a duplicate copy of our main design which is black color. For which we will go to edit and click on copy. Again go to edit and click on paste and back because we need to duplicate it. The copy should be below this design. We will color it maroon. Now we'll reduce the size of this maroon duplicate copy. Now grab both of them with the help of selection tool and click on the object. At the bottom you will see the blend option. Click on it. Make is written on the front. Click it. We'll return to the blend and click on the blending options. As soon as we select this option, a box will appear. In this box, we'll choose the specified steps and increase the number as needed. Once we're satisfied, we'll click OK to apply the changes. Next, place the duplicate copy of the red color. We had on the side on top of the design and align it so that the two are easily placed on top of each other. Group it. And your design is complete. It's done. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more design tutorials, and check out my next video for advanced logo design tips.